Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Anna and today we're making some pulled pork. Well, actually we're making pulled pork sandwiches. But these are so, so scrumptious. The meat is nice and juicy and so nicely flavored. You are going to love it. Now you can make this three ways. Today I'm going to be making it in the oven, but you can do it in your grill or your slow cooker. I don't have a grill and I don't have slow cookers, so I'm going to be making mine in the oven today. You only need minimal, minimal ingredients. I'm going to show you what they are so we can go ahead and get started. You're gonna need some onion, mustard, salt, and here I have some spices starting with my brown sugar, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, regular paprika, chili powder, and black pepper. You're gonna need some water or chicken stock, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of liquid smoke. I'm gonna talk about this in just a second. And of course, you're going to need your pork. For the pork, I like a bone-in pork shoulder or pork butt. I prefer bone-in because I find that it gives me more flavor. The meat comes out a little bit juicier, but that's just personal preference. You can do bone-in or boneless. I like to add a little bit of liquid smoke to my pulled pork because it gives me that barbecue taste without having to make it in the barbecue. If you're making it in the barbecue, you probably won't need to use this because you're just naturally gonna get that smoky taste. Or maybe if you wanna add it, just add maybe a little less than half. You can find the written recipe with all the measurements on my website, anitasdelightsrecipes.com. I think that's pretty much all you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need some hamburger buns and you're also going to need some barbecue sauce, but we're gonna bring that out at the end because we don't need it now. First thing you wanna do is mix your brown sugar with your spices so everything is nicely combined this is going to be the dry rub we're going to rub all over the pork butt this is just gonna give it so much flavor I also have my oven preheating to 300 degrees Fahrenheit this looks good you just want to mix it just until everything's combined now I like to add some mustard to my pork I know this might look a little bit weird but trust me it's so good you do not need a lot and I do the same thing to my ribs whenever I make ribs the mustard is going to act as a binder kind of like as a glue to bind your spice rub you do not need a lot you're just gonna need about a tablespoon in total which is not a lot because I have about five pounds of pork here and now you're going to simply add your spice rub hopefully without making a mess like I'm doing but it's fine it's fine listen I am a messy cook and I'm not ashamed to admit it <laughs> Okay, so you want your pork to be very nicely coated with this beautiful rub. And now we add a little bit of mustard to the other side. And trust me, I'm not a huge fan of mustard and you cannot taste it. So don't worry, you will not be able to taste the mustard, but mustard and pork are kind of best friends. They go hand in hand, so I do recommend you add it because it does make it really, really good. Okay, this is the last bit. And as you can see, the pork is nicely coated with the rub. We're going to place the pork in the Dutch oven. You're gonna need a big pot like this. I'm gonna go ahead and season my pork with some salt. You want a generous amount of salt just because this is a lot of pork, so you want it nicely seasoned. And I'm going to add some onion. I'm just going to slice it. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with it. The simpler, the better. I love this recipe because it's so simple. You just add everything to your pot. You do have to let it cook for a few hours, but the oven or the grill or the slow cooker does all the work. So you just simply slice it. I like to do bigger slices because otherwise they just disappear. Just like so, and you just want to scatter them all around. Beautiful. Okay, and now I'm going to mix my apple cider vinegar with the water and the liquid smoke. You're gonna give that a quick mix. Like I said, you can use chicken stock. Today I'm using water, but chicken stock is gonna give it a little more flavor. 
we're gonna cover this and we're going to pop this in our preheated oven it's gonna cook for about three hours but I like to I like to let it cook for about two hours I like to check on it to see just how tender the meat is and then I decide if it needs to cook for another extra hour or two hours depending on what it is so I'm gonna pop this in and I'll see you back when we're ready for the next step my pulled pork is finally done. I cooked it for three and a half hours, covered at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I cranked up the heat to 350 and then I cooked it for 30 minutes because you're gonna notice there's still a lot of liquid so I want to evaporate some of that liquid. Let me show you how it came out. It's divine. This is what you want your pork to look like. I haven't even shredded my pork. This was just from when I was mixing it because I did mix it like twice in the four hours because you don't want anything to stick and look it's just it falls off the bone. Now the pork is done we're gonna make a super quick and simple coleslaw. I'm gonna make this into pulled pork sandwiches and I like to top it with some coleslaw. So and here I have some green or white cabbage, red cabbage, some carrots and green onions. That is all I have. You can shred your own like I did or you can buy the coleslaw mix that comes already pre-packed good to go and just chopped a little bit of um, green onion. I have some mayo, honey Dijon mustard. You can use regular uh, Dijon mustard if you wish. I really like a little bit of sweetness from the honey Dijon and I also have some apple cider vinegar. We're gonna add the juice of half a lemon. You can just adjust it to however much you want of each ingredient. I like to add a little bit of salt to this and then a little bit of pepper and we're gonna mix it. Now we give the dressing a good whiskey roux. You wanna taste it and see if it needs a little bit of anything else. Okay, perfect. Now you wanna add the dressing to your coleslaw and we mix. This is what the coleslaw looks like. So you can see, very simple, easy, delicious. The coleslaw is ready, we're going to shred the pork I like to go ahead and discard any big pieces of fat or anything like that because obviously at least I don't enjoy that so I like to get rid of it. I really can't get over how juicy, tender and delicious the meat came out. I'm telling you, once you try this pulled pork recipe, you won't go back to any other. I got all of my pulled pork nice and shredded. As you can see, this is quite a lot. I do have my homemade barbecue sauce here. Like I said, I'm gonna leave it in the description down below. I'm not gonna mix the whole thing with barbecue sauce because I find that it's more versatile this way. I mean, this pork is so delightful that you can eat it just like this. You don't even need to add barbecue sauce, but I am making like barbecue uh, pulled pork sandwiches. So, so I'm gonna mix it with the barbecue sauce, but I'm not gonna mix all of it because the leftovers I can use, like I said, for anything else that I want and doesn't have to necessarily be barbecue flavored. So I'm gonna add some of the barbecue sauce. And now we mix. I also have, as you can see, my bread getting nice and toasty here. I think we might be ready to assemble our sandwich. So we have our beautiful toasted bread. We add some of the pulled pork, just like so. Oh, can't wait to stuff my face <laughs> with this sandwich because it's that good. I like to do a little bit of coleslaw right on top and now if you want you can do some pickles i'm not a huge fan of pickles so i'm not gonna do them today i'm just gonna do coleslaw i am salivating there's gonna be a mouthful i better got stuff all over my face but it's okay because this is glorious mm. The meat is so tender, the coleslaw is perfect, the barbecue sauce is my favorite, of course, it's my recipe, so it's my favorite barbecue sauce. I want you to look at this. Look how amazing this is. Look at all those layers, it's pure perfection. This is it for me today. I am done. There is nothing else I can say about this delicious sandwich aside from go to my website, get the written recipe, make the sandwich. Fourth of July, it's just around the corner. Like I say, you make it in the barbecue. 
in the slow cooker so flavorful so delicious so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye bye